Transformation at 8.30 tonight, and with every weight, walk of life and fitness level represented, you've no reason not to find your inspiration. Now though, here on RTE1, it's Shortland Street. Is Mona with you? This doctor just rang for her. She left this morning. She's gone to a motel or something. Mona, it's Rachel. Mona, can you hear me? Mrs. Heafy. Fine, her post up dressing's all done. And her notes? Give us a chance. That's why I'm here to use the computer. Of course, sorry. These rosters are doing my head in. What's the problem? Uh, too many shifts, not enough for nurses, same as always. Well, and maybe you just need a fresh pair of eyes to help you out. You could always slot me in for more shifts. I'm more than happy to go the extra mile for you. Mm, that's really nice, but. What are you doing? Well, no one's looking. That's not the point. Well, maybe you need to remind me what the point is. I hope I'm not interrupting. Don't try to make any excuses. There are none. <clears throat> I know. I'm sorry. It was my fault. I got a bit... Did tired. I ask you? I am this close to giving you another warning. It won't happen again. There he goes. Commander Scott, Ferndale, relation to police. I think we got off lightly. Well, it was just going to be a little kiss. I'm sure he snuck a few in when he and Shanti were working together. I doubt that. Well, he needs to lighten up. He is still grieving, Nicole. It's hard to deal with other people's intimacy when you've lost the person you love. Well, I have to deal with the fact that you have two sisters that you see every day. I don't take it out on Scotty, do I? No, but whatever. I'll behave. My mother. Okay, cubicle two. Uh, Mrs. Mackay found collapsed with conscious severe abdominal pains, IV fluids, and oxygen en route. She's been staying with us for days. She hasn't complained of any pain. Well, no more than usual. All right, on my count. One, two, three. All right. We'll know more once I've examined her. Uh, can you give us some space, please? Callum, is she okay? I'm not sure yet. I'm Maxwell Ivia, one of the doctors. I'm just going to have a feel of your tummy, okay? Um, can you tell me how bad it is on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the worst? Oh, 10. Okay, have you taken medication today? No. Yes, she has. Painkillers. She had some this morning and the other day. Is that right, Mrs. McGo? Oh, I had a headache so much. Okay, what did you take for it? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, come on, Mum, you must remember. I can't. Well, was it paracetamol from the supermarket or did you get it from the chemist? Oh, I said I don't know. Well, where's the packet now, Mum? Come on, you must remember. Uh, it's OK, go. Um, I want a full set of bloods and apto x ray. Sure. Just um, try and relax, OK? What's wrong? It's about Heather. Go on. The reading of a will's tomorrow. I've been asked to go. An inheritance? That's what I'm worried about. She's done enough for me already. Maybe she didn't think so. No, I don't deserve any more. I know her family will agree. They never liked me, never trusted me. I think I'll give it a miss. Heather wanted you there. I can't take another cent from her. Maybe it isn't money. Maybe she has left you all her old pots and pans, or that old V-dub that you did up for her. Maybe she's still got it. Well, there'll be a hope. So, you'll go to the reading? I suppose I better. Where is it? Some lawyer's office in town. Heather was so scared before the surgery, she had the papers sent up there to make it easy on the family. It's like she knew. Had a premonition or something. We'll never know about that. But we do know that she had some last wishes. So you have every right to go along and find out what they were. Mrs Mackay, uh, according to your blood test, you're severely anemic and the X-ray shows a large bowel obstruction, which is causing the pain that you're in. What kind of obstruction? Well, you don't know yet. Uh, possibly a tumour. It's cancer, isn't it? We won't know until we get the tests back. But for now, we're going to start you on a blood transfusion for anemia. How did things get so bad? She eats well enough. It is cancer. 
Mum, please don't say that. Um, I've called Chris Warner for a consult. We'll get a CT scan done, and he'll book you on for a surgery as soon as possible. OK? Don't you go falling apart on me. Mum. You're hopeless, just like your father. I am not falling apart. I am shocked, aren't you? It is what it is. If it's a bad old cope. You already knew this, didn't you? So you've had the symptoms for how long? A while. I was booked in for a colonoscopy, but I missed the appointment. Do you know how stupid that is? Do you know the risk you were taking? Don't preach to me. Mum, I'm not preaching. I am worried. I can't believe you're gambling with your health like this. I got the news about Sophie's wedding. I didn't want to spoil it. So you ignored the pain and forgot about the checkup. Are you serious? Hello. It's OK. She's here now. Work, financial or personal? Hmm? Whatever it is that has you so preoccupied. It's Ty. What happened? They found marijuana in his cell. There goes any kudos he earned for good behaviour. I'm sure that's only a minor offence. Added to a list of minor offences about as long as my arm. There's no way he'll make early parole now. Yeah, maybe it's best for everyone if he just stays locked up. You don't mean that. No, I do. I'm wiping my hands of him. Look, I know you want him home. Oh, you need him home, and I know why. So, no, it's not for the best that he stays locked up. It sucks. But we'll get through, OK? If you're not interested, fine. I just thought it was odd. Go on, then. Tell me. Heather Sloan, the woman who died in surgery, he's been asked to the reading of her will. He's a beneficiary? Well, I don't know the details, but I overheard Ben telling Mum he's got to go to the lawyers. Maybe it's nothing. Yeah, well, maybe it's a fortune. Wouldn't surprise me. Excuse me? Well, you're talking about Ben, right? Yeah, why? What do you know? Well, Ben visited Heather just before she died, and straight afterwards she changed her will. I was a woman. No way. I didn't read it, of course. But I do know that as soon as Ben left, Heather was on the phone to the lawyers asking for the papers to be sent over. You join the dots. Wait, you're not suggesting he could worst her? He beat his inheritance, he did. We have to tell Mum. The CT scan shows a tumour in the descending colon. Is it cancer? It's likely to be malignant. I'll be doing an operation called a hemicolectomy. I'm hopeful that I can remove the tumour by doing an end-to-end -end anastomosis, meaning I may not have to do a colostomy. Oh, thank heavens for that. I couldn't abide carrying my business everywhere. If I do have to do a colostomy, chances are it'll only be temporary. However, if the worst oh, trans... Right, I, I get the idea. Now, what if the cancer's spread? We can't worry about that yet, Mum. I can. I'm the one that's pushing up daisies. I'll remove the lymph nodes near the colon, biopsy them, then we'll know for sure where we are. Any more questions? None. I'll see you in recovery. Thanks again, Chris. I've been through all this before, you know, nursing your dad, watching him die. Mum, Dad chain-smoked for years. He was in bad shape before he got cancer. You're made of tougher stuff than that. No, I'm not. I didn't miss my checkup because of the wedding. I was scared. I didn't want to be on my own when I got the bad news. Well, you know I would have come over. Yeah, but you wouldn't have stayed. You've got new job, family. So I thought I'd come to you. My mistake. You obviously don't want me. No, 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 no. That's not true. Not that I blame you. I'm... I don't even like myself much. I just hope it's not too late to make amends. I'm here for you, Mum. I always will be. I think I'm going to go home if that's all right with you. Of course it is. Look, I uh, can't thank you enough for what you did. Mum could have died if it wasn't for you. I was the reason she was alone in a motel room. Oh, well, you can't blame yourself for that. Well, she wanted to spend time with you and the kids. I was getting in the way. Yeah, she was just being territorial. And for good reason. That's why I wanted to speak to her. Bury the hatchet. Tell her I understood. OK. 
I was going to give us some space with you guys. Sorry, I couldn't get here sooner. I was caught up doing wedding stuff. Yeah, I was out. I was uh, catching up with a mate from school. My phone was off. Are you sure you don't want a glass? No, I've got to finish these. The clearer my head is, the sooner they'll get done. Well, can't they wait till morning? If you fit them into your work schedule, at least you're getting paid. I was thought about the money. You know what happened with Scotty today? I can't afford any more slip-ups. So you'll sacrifice all your free time just to please him? It's not all my free time. Yes, I want to please him. He's my boss. Well, he's an ungrateful fascist. And a hypocrite. How so? He and Tracy. Totally an item. Rubbish. I saw it with my own eyes. You saw what, exactly? A cosy moment in the corridor. She had her hands all over him. Hands or a hand? Fine. A hand. But it was intimate. Come on. They're friends, flatmates. Yeah, like Brooke and TK. Yeah, exactly. Wow. You really have had your head stuck in the rosters. The word is, Brooke nailed TK. Sarah and TK have only just broken up. Everybody's saying it. Well, even if that is true, you're way off with Scotty and Tracy. And if I were you, I wouldn't start any rumours. You are really boring sometimes, you know <laughs> that? It's all a cover. I'm actually a wild thing when you're not looking. Well, I still think I'm right. New look. I'm not sure it's work appropriate. Funny, no. Somehow I managed to shut my locker door on my hoodie and now it's jammed. And? And I need to find a screwdriver or something. Let me have a look. I can do it. No, come on. <laughs> Fifteen grand. That's some inheritance. I didn't deserve anything. Money should have gone to the family. You're being too hard on yourself. I'm not. Might have been nothing but trouble. It's going to be a holiday, or maybe even a new car. No way. You won't hear I have my head on a plate. It's none of that business. You're right. The fact that I've been out with another woman older than me is enough, let alone that I've inherited from her. I think I'm after you for all I can get. Let them think what they want. What? That's what Heather used to say all the time. Why did you break up? Her idea. She thought I needed to get out and experience life. Thought she was holding me back, stealing my youth. I know what that feels like. Maybe promise not to write or call. But when I saw her this time, I feel like I was the one that held her back. You know, she was sick. I should have been there for her the way she was for me, even as a friend. You couldn't have known. I still feel terrible. Money makes things worse. But she wanted you to have it. So how about using it to buy a bit of happiness? 15,000. It'll get you to Peru and back and cover the rent. How much? 15. Three zeros. Nicole was right. He must have got to Heather before she died. Got to. And now Mum's his next victim. Oh, he wants more than a trip to Peru. He wants it all. All what? Her money, her house. If they shack up together for three years, he's entitled to half of what she owns. And if he gets her to change the world, then okay, he'll I think you're going a little far. Oh, come on. It wouldn't be the first time our mother's been sucked in. Remember our fake brother? She would have given Hamish anything. I know, but still. We don't have time for but stills. Yeah, we have to do something. We have to stop Ben. Uh, hang on. This time. Uh, okay, got it. Oh, you are a legend. Thank you so much. Oh, um, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Scotty was just helping me. Um, sure. Tracy's hoodie got stuck in the door. I better go before someone else busts me in the ladies' locker. Sure, thanks, Smith. No worries. Oh, it's a cancer spread, isn't it? The tumour was significantly larger than the scan revealed. I also discovered a second, smaller tumour, which meant I had to do a much more extensive operation, including a colostomy. You give me a bag. Oh, how long? Four months, I suppose. Unfortunately, because of the large amount of colon I had to remove, the colostomy will be permanent. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's, it's all right. You'll adjust. Oh. I know this is a shock, but these things are very manageable. Oh, leave me alone. Go away. She just needs some time. Of course. Butcher. 
He lied to me. He said I wouldn't need a class doll. No, he didn't. He said he'd do his best. And he saved your life. Think about that. Well, it's easy for you to say you haven't got your waist system stitched up. Mum, I'm taking a month's leave from the end of this week. Pass it on. Where are you going? Samoa. You never said. Well, HR's been on at me about taking my leave and I could do with a break and Samoa could do with my tourist dollars. Well, have a great time. Sure, I will. And uh, another thing, you probably won't thank me, but uh, a word of warning. I heard what happened, how Ben got Heather's money. It's a small inheritance and it's Ben's business. Just keep an eye on your wallet. Tantia. Heather, we know about. But how many more do you think there's been? How many other wills has he got himself written into? Oh, that's just been cruel. Oh, I knew you'd think that. Fine, don't believe me. Ben's not a gold digger, but there's one thing that you can't deny. He has a thing for older women, and doesn't matter how you want to paint that, it's not a normal thing. Everybody's been saying that Heather Sloan left Ben a fortune, but Yvonne hasn't said anything to me. No, she hasn't said anything to me either, so maybe it isn't true. I mean, here's a thought. Maybe you should stop repeating it. Me? But no, I'm on Yvonne's side. I just want to put people straight. Excuse me for trying to get to the facts. I know, sorry. I'm just sick of all the gossip around this place. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. You're going to want to hear this too. Uh, if it's not about work, I don't want to know. I was right about Tracy and Scotty. What about Tracy and Scotty? They're getting it on. And this falls straight into the not work-related basket. Oh, where are you no, going? No, no, no. Hold on. Tracy and Scotty, you can't be serious. I caught them in the female locker room this morning. All she was wearing was a towel and he was on his knees. It's not just the cancer, it's the colostomy and the ongoing recovery. There's no way Mum can go home now. Would you want her to? No, and for once I really mean it. Although it's not going to be easy, she's hissed and spat at the kids this morning. She's frightened. Mm -hmm. She told me last night she'd like to put things right between us. Make it happen. I wish I had with my mum. We didn't have the time. She died suddenly. I still find myself wanting to tell her things, say sorry for stuff, or just stupid it's been years. I've never felt closer to my mother than I do right now. The last 18 hours, I um, can't thank you enough. I wish you'd stop saying that. I just happened to show up. After all the nasty things she did to you, you went out and you tried to knit the Mackay family back together again. I will never forget that. I'll be back in an hour, okay? All right. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I'm just heading out the door right now. Where do you want me? Yes, I know where that is. I'll see you in 10. Yeah, bye. She's having an assignation. She's meeting someone in 10 minutes. Who? I don't know. She didn't say. Well, get the roster. Quick, tell me what Scotty's doing. He finished an hour ago. Of course he did. But that doesn't mean that it's him. Well, we can soon find out. How? We'll follow Tracy, of course, but we had to be quick. We can't do that. Oh, Aaron, doll, can you cover me for a couple of hours? Why? It's urgent, personal urgent, but um, I'll make it up to you. You bet you will. Nicole, you can't just invade Tracy's privacy like this. I can if it means proving that Scotty's been unfair to Maya, that he's been practising double standards. She'll get away! Oh, oh fine, I'll go myself. <sighs> Wait! Uh, I'm coming. She dropped this. I have to return it to her. Absolutely, you do. It's only right. I had an argument with Tanya. Not again. What's her problem this time? About your inheritance from Heather, among other things. What's she saying? That you coerced it out of Heather. And you believe her? Where is she? I'll have a word. Of course I don't believe her. I just hate the thought that people are saying things like that about you. It's so unfair. Don't have to shut them up. I'll give the money to charity. I'll make sure the news is spread. Well, that would be unfair too. Heather didn't want that. She wanted you to have the benefit of what? All... Benefit? All this money's done is put the spotlight back on us. I hate that. I hate that you're upset. I hate that things are worse with Tanya. 
just want it out of my life. Are you sure? I don't care about money, Yvonne. I never have. I never will. And don't take this the wrong way, but I can't go on holiday with you now. Not after this. We're cancelling again. Postponing. Till I can pay my own way. I won't take any leave till I've saved up enough. Is that okay? What do you wait for me? You know I will. What was the other problem she had? Nothing. That's it. So can you see Scotty? No. And I can't see his car either. Maybe we've got this whole thing wrong. Well, maybe he took a cab. <sighs> maybe she's meeting someone else. At a motel. Why? I mean, it makes sense of it. Scotty, he's not going to want to do it at his house, is he? Because of Shanti? Yeah, it's a bit... But look, this is a three-star motel at best. And Scotty's a big spender. I don't think so. This is so him, it's like pure evidence. I suppose. Right. Where's that security pass? Right then, let's go before they get naked. Uh, well, I, you go. I'll wait here. You big chicken! No, I, I just want to keep watch in case one of them slips out the back way. I believe you. You left this in triage. I tried to catch you in the car park, but... Well, so you followed me all the way here. You know, that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Gerald. What the hell is going on? You're busted, that's what. You and lover boy. Hey, what's the matter? Anyone would think you have something to hide, eh, Scotty? Scotty? Come out, come out wherever you are. I'm not Scotty, and this has got nothing to do with you, so get lost. Meryl Streep and Alec Baldwin show there's plenty of fire in the over 50s playing a divorced couple who embark on an affair after 10 years apart. It's complicated, is your midweek movie at 9.35 tonight, but next today, it's Doctors.